Thanks very much. Welcome back. You're watching the one. We've got mementos from some huge rock stars, and we want our psychics to tell us as much as they can about their owners. Now, the rules are quite simple. They can touch the objects, but they may not see them. And I'll give you a sneak preview of what the psychics will be looking at. First of all, a pair of Bon Scott's pants. Ooh. They've been washed. It's okay. Ivo Novella Songwriting Award. This was John Lennon's. This guitar belonged to Billy Thorpe. What about this one? One of Freddie Mercury's sweatbands. And last but not least, a jacket belonging to Michael Hutchins. To help us with the finer details of our rock stars' lives, would you please welcome the walking Wikipedia of rock and roll, Mr. Glenn A. Baker. G'day, Glenn. And a genuine legend of Australian rock, Mr. Molly Meldrum. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you here. Now, the reason you're here is because our psychics might give us some pretty obscure information about what they're going to see from these items on stage, and it's your job to tell us whether there's any truth in what they're saying. Let's get our psychics out here. Make them welcome. Hey, okay, guys. Okay, yeah, we'll start with you. If you put your blindfold on and tell us everything you can about the item. Okay. Um, as soon as I actually started to touch this, I'm feeling Australian. Um, I'm seeing like iconic Australian. And I'm feeling too that there's um, a lot of people gathered for my benefit. I have to say, I keep hearing the names John and Bob around this person as well too. Um, I want to say that um, uh, um, I'm hearing what sounds to be very chunky guitar riffs. Um, and the other thing I keep seeing too, it's a mouth organ as well. Just being shown a harmonica, a mouth organ. All right, Ezio. The jacket belonged to in excess frontman Michael Hutchins. When I found out that it was Michael Hutchins' jacket, I thought this is truly an amazing experience that I'm involved in here. You were absolutely spot on, uh, you know, that he became iconic. The names, you did mention Bob, oh, and of yes. course Bob Geldof was in fact Paula's husband, of course Michael, you know, going with Paula and, and had the child Tiger Lily. Of saying people coming together, the funeral of Michael's was nothing short of extraordinary. It I was. Mean, people flew in from everywhere, I mean Paul Kylie Minogue. Uh, you name it. It was just incredible, if you know. You mentioned the chunky guitar riffs. Of course, in the band was Tim Farris, and Tim was the master of the yeah. chunky guitar riff. I just, wanted, I just felt like I had to pass on a thank you to Molly. I don't know why, but I have to say that's what I, that's what I felt like I really needed to pass on. So. He became a great friend of mine, and I, um, I absolutely treasured that fr friendship, you know? Um... As soon as I touched it, I immediately got guitars. I just get, like it was such an effort. I can hardly lift my legs. I can hardly move. I just feel incredibly heavy and weighed down. It was like this person gave 120% when they performed. I keep getting pictures of the king card from the tarot. The king card in the tarot obviously means somebody who rose to the top of their field. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Leave it at that? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Doug. I'm going to take your um, blindfold off. Mm -hmm. What a shame you, you said the king card and not, uh, you didn't see the queen, queen. card. Okay. It's uh, a sweatband belonging to the lead singer of Queen, Freddie Mercury. I've always loved Freddie Mercury. Uh, so I felt very privileged to actually be that close to an object that belonged to him when it was said that he, he gave 120%, he was dynamic, and that it was, you know, he rose to the top of his field, yeah. as indicated in the King Carter Terror. Both of those rang true. What about the heaviness, the heaviness yeah, in the yeah. legs? Remember, he died of AIDS. He died in November 1991, well, and of course, by that stage, he couldn't perform, so there would have been a heaviness weighing upon him what? at that stage. Freddie was just one of those magical people. I, and even off stage, um, you were in a presence of someone that was an absolute genius, you know? Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Shane. All right. Good stuff. The first thing I sense when I pick up is the sense of breathlessness, of Oh, I just can't breathe. 
I feel this person was absolutely magnetic in their personality. There's admiration and, and love for his wife. I felt this person had, had a very sudden death or an injury. I get shoulder, shoulder and chest. That'll probably be time. Do it. I'll take that. So this belonged to Billy Thorpe. Oh. I got to hold Billy Thorpe's guitar. I could feel the wildness, I could feel the grooviness, the, the, the chick magnet, but also the love for his wife. Some things were startlingly close, to be sure. I mean, he had a, a magnetic personality. You mentioned a sudden death and you mentioned chest. Well, certainly that was the case, given that he died of a massive uh, heart attack. And the other thing you mentioned, he had a great love for his wife. Well, that certainly was, was the case because he was married to Lynn for 36 years. We've got two more items to go, two more psychics to show us what they can do before our judges decide who amongst them definitely is not the one. That's coming up. Nice one. So I feel that this person went to their peak in the 70s. They had amazing eyes. It's like they captivated people.